So the first month of the pandemic and quarantine, I did a lot of sitting around the house, which everyone else was doing the same thing. I wasn't able to work. Uh, I do a lot of wedding photography. That wasn't happening and it's still not happening until I don't know when. I couldn't do any headshots, any personal branding, no marketing videos. But the one thing I could do was media coverage, which was considered an essential business. So I wanted to document what was going on in my town here in Long Island. So my first inclination was to reach out to the healthcare providers. I wanted to do portraits of them in a the hospital or near the hospital. The issue was I wasn't able to get anywhere near a hospital because of what was going on. So my next idea was to reach out to my chamber of commerce, which I do a lot of work with. I wanted to photograph and document the workforce in my local town. Now a lot of the businesses were closed, so I wanted to get them with their face mask on in their empty stores or restaurants. I wanted the images to reflect how everyone was feeling at this time, so I went with kind of an unconventional lens, which is a 14 millimeter lens, something you would never use for a portrait. It gives a very distorted point of view. I also wanted my lighting set up to be quick and easy, as there were only 10 minute sessions and I was going to book them back to back. So I went with a quick lighting setup that I could fit in the back of my car and head off to the next session. So I sent an email out to about 600 members of the Chamber of Commerce, and I got 10 replies, which was great. I set up a session for 10 people. I also wanted the images to be black and white. I didn't want to have any color in these. So those 10 sessions went good. I sent an email out as a thank you with the images. And when I sent that email out, I got 20 more emails back. After seeing the images, people wanted to be a part of it. So I set up 20 more sessions. I did that again, sent an email out as a thank you. I got 30 more emails back. At the end of this project, I had close to 90 portraits done. Halfway through it, the Arts Council reached out to me and said they want to do a gallery exhibit once everything is open again of all the portraits. I also had two or three of the sessions ask me if I could do a coffee table book. So this October 31st on Halloween, we're going to be doing a gallery showing at the Arts Council. It's going to be a masquerade, and I'm going to be doing a release of my book there as well.